All right, hey there, everybody. How you doing? This uh, guy today is December, and it is cold outside. It's probably 40 degrees, or 45 degrees. Uh, I've got like three layers on right now. It's it's chilly, but uh, we had to get out before the end of the year. Um, at least this last time. At least, I hope this is my la my last trip, but be on here. Today I'm on my favorite boat, the Victory at the Long Beach Sport Fishing. And uh, it's a three quarter day, we're gonna stay kind of in shore. I heard that we're gonna go about five, 10 miles out. We're gonna be fishing for some rockfish. They have some live squid on the boat, so it's gonna be great. And uh, then of course, we're gonna be fishing for my sheephead. Today is a kind of a different day altogether because I'll be using my new Cast King Kong rod, the 25, I think it's a 25 to 50 or something like that. Mid-range rod with the conventional reel. I've got the Pen Fathom 25 NLD2 on it. And we're gonna see just how that performs. Great rod so far. I've been playing around with it. Seems to be pretty good. So today it's this inaugural uh, trip out on a three-quarter day, and we're gonna see how we do with it. Talk to you later. What is this scoping? Yeah, that's a scoping, right? Yeah, I like how that you can see the tip really well. That green. See it there. That's an exercise. Is it on? Yeah, of course. You want to? All right, this is for our YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, this is a Pacific Oceanic Whitefish. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, this rod, I can feel everything. Also, pulling off the bottom is quite a feat. Sensitive tip. I don't know if it's because of two piece or what. But I can feel the squid even swimming around down there. This is probably like a smaller size sculpin or something. More sculpin. This is a fish right here. Take this one nice and easy. This has got to be a bigger size. So I do not want to spin him off. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Good. Oh man, of course I didn't enter the Of course I'm not in the in the uh Oh yeah. Yeah. I never do either. It's been caught before.
Look at that thing, huh? Giant. A little shaking here and there. Seems like a white fish to me, but. Cheap little white fish. Tiny guy. That's perfect soup size right there. That's right. Hey everybody, so we are back from the boat. One of the things I want to talk about absolutely to give you more details about the Kong rod I was using. So I uh, kind of was testing this thing out. Uh, right now, um, my normal setup for my kind of rock fishing gear is a 25 to 60. Um, and that's the same thing. When, when Caskin came out with their rod, I decided to give it a try. And I am so impressed with this thing. Um, I've done this a couple of videos in the past, but I do want to kind of go into a little bit more and give you more details about the rod, the S-curve um, blank. It's got a really stout, nice feel to it. It's got a really nice bright tip to it. The All the, if you can see that, one of the, the things you want to look for when you look at rods, especially when things are really heavy do like this, is dual feet on the eyes. And I really respect that. They all have inserts on there. They're all really nicely made um, and secured on there. They have, um, uh, if you look at the resin or the, the coating that's on the outside, it's all the way to the inside. It doesn't stop halfway. It's really nicely coated. So I, I don't know. I lo love this thing. And uh, I, the way I was feeling on that, on that uh, boat, I could feel everything on the bottom. Again, 30 to 60 is actually quite a heavier rod. It's, you know, it's made for, um, you know, thicker types of uh, braid and mono. But sometimes when you have that kind of thickness, you lose the sensitivity because it is so stout. But this rod, I can feel everything. I'm not exactly sure why it is. Maybe it's because I was just trying to feel it more. But the tip is still really sensitive. So it feels nice. Um, again, you know, this rod has got the standard type of uh, squishier kind of handle and butt to it. It's got the really nice um, crank down real area for it. Nice fighting grip. It's got kind of these like grooves and layers here so you can kind of get your fingers around there it'll feel just a little bit different on texture the bottom is smoother the bottom comes off it's got a little fighting butt tip if you will and if you have it on the available on the boat you can actually lock that down and have it kind of trolling on the back of the boat so it just kind of pops it on there it's pretty cool um so one thing that's unique about this rod that i've never had in a saltwater rod before I, this is what I was mainly testing. I'm not going to lie. This is what I was testing to see what the difference is with a rod that's rated the same as my other rods, but is actually two-piece. What? I know. It's not normal. Normally, my freshwater rods and the lighter rods are two-piece, and this is exactly what I was testing. I wanted to see a couple things. Number one, how the fit was, if I could still feel um, everything, you know, because naturally when you've got vibration coming down, you, uh, you might lose some of that uh, sensitivity. I could feel everything. I had no problem at all. I wanted to see if it still had that nice curvature when I was fighting the fish, coming bringing up at the bottom. You know, it wasn't any kind of extreme, um, any kind of extreme fishing that I did. I did catch that sheep head on there, but I could still feel everything. And it was still a nice fighting power. I could still bend into this thing and kind of leverage myself and get some good action on it. So pretty happy with it. Pretty impressed. This thing's under a hundred bucks. I mean, I think it was like 80 bucks. If I remember right, and a lot of times these things go on sale, so you might want to catch it if you can. Um, this is actually my second one. I have a spinning version too. And why would I get a spinning version? Well, the spinning version is actually 15 to 40 if I remember right. It's kind of like that lightweight rod. And the reason for that is I'm using it with a Megatron 5000 spinning reel for things like hookup baits off the bottom, things like the 150, taking my son out if he's uncomfortable with using a conventional reel and um, kind of playing around with it like that. So I think it's really cool. Also, I can use it in the beach if I'm gonna go surf fishing. It doesn't have quite the length. It's got like the eight foot length, but it's not quite long enough for, for really long casting, but it still uh, will be suiting that kind of application just fine with the heavier tip. These things are super light. You know, they're very, they're very light. I don't, it's just so nice and you can feel everything. I don't know. I'm really liking these rods a lot. So I'm actually going to probably pick up a couple more. Um, another thing 
is that because of the price point of this thing and all cast king stuff um being under like you know i think it was like 80 bucks if i remember right so if i get this thing for 80 bucks uh for many of you know that i'm also very much involved with the scouts and um i, I do a lot of boy scout stuff i'm taking the kids out taking my own son out and i can get a setup like that where i can have them beat it up it's not going to be too damaging for me and i can pair it up with something like a recon reel now the recon reel is going to be coming out with me on my next trip i wasn't able to get on this next trip this last trip but this next trip is going to be coming out and i'm hopefully going to catch some fish with this thing this is a pretty nice little conventional reel i did a little review about it hopefully i had a chance to check it out if not take a look at my my videos and take see what you think um it's a nice size um I, my hand's not that big it's a nice size reel. It's got that clicking thing going on there. I'm not 100% sure I like that. It's kind of like old school, but still it works just fine. It's got the nice gear ratio rolling up. Nice positive um, release when you're letting it go. Drag. Again, you've seen it on the video. Hopefully you have a chance to take a look at the video. But the one thing that I really love about this reel is that it's got the, um, what do you call this? The line spooling on there. So it goes back and forth and... And all the kids that are using this reel and all the people who are not familiar with using a conventional reel um, can save their fingers by just looping it through there and it'll automatically get it onto the uh, spool on its own. You don't have to spend your time and, and hurt your fingers. My fingers are still cut up. Um, you have a clicker on there. Really loud noise. 5.3 to 1. I think inches per turn on this thing. I think it's about 22, 23 that's really important when you're going uh, bottom fishing, but uh, when it's time for for kids to roll, they don't really. I mean, they're they're having fun, right? It's got a nice handle on that round round. So I'm gonna be pairing that up with the 25 to or the 30 to 60. I think it's 30 to 60, 30 to 60 uh, conventional rod, and we're gonna be heading out to do more ocean fishing, half day, three quarter day boats, my kid, and maybe some of the scouts. So hopefully it's helped to you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you have a chance. I would really appreciate it. it helps out the channel and me so much. I'm going to be starting a new series here very quickly. All about just teaching everybody about how I prepare. Get ready for these half, three quarter and full day boats. What I'm doing on there. And give you all the details that you might not see. Or if you see it's maybe spread across a lot of other videos on YouTube. So hopefully it will help out. If you have a chance, again, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think. If I can do anything better. Feel free to comment below or if you've gone out and you've got some other tips let me know too all right take care everybody we'll talk to you soon bye